and you're listening to the New Music Alliance Radio Hour. And I'm here today with Violet Housethor and our special guest, Jim Marmenti, and I'm Mark Sherry. You just heard 3800 Elizabeth by the Claudia Malibu. Before that, Shade You Out by Satellite Bells. And starting out, we had Susan at the Crossroads by the Strip Mall Ballads. So let's talk about 3800 Elizabeth by the Claudia Malibu. That is a charming track. I really like that. And then that cool sample flip at the end. It just sounds fun in a way that it ends a little playful in its own way. I think that's I think that's right. I saw that many times. Luke actually, uh, Luke Kavanak is a painter. He he painted mm. the big mural when you enter uh, Cottage Street from East Hampton, come out over the mountain. There's a whole side of a building that's uh, a series of paintings, and Luke did that anyway. But he was a student of mine back when I had about six or seven students that were all graduating from Northampton High School. A bunch of them still play uh, around here in Ware River Club and various bands. But Luke fronted this band. He writes the songs. That's his voice. And it's just always fun. And they they did not take themselves seriously. They're kind of an art band. You know, you can yeah. hear they just they just throw it down, <laughs> throw it together. Uh, but really, an, uh, really kind of a uh, just a fun melody and a, and a sweet story about, you know, some side street neighborhood in Northampton, you know, just a great Northampton you know, tune and Luke's voice, I think, is perfect for this this particular song. And in, 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 in particularly, it's just, yeah, it's just perfect. And the tempo in the song, I, it just kind of grabs me. Yeah, you don't uh, you don't hear songs, you know, put together that way anymore. I don't, I, I just I can't even imagine it, really. The, mm-hmm. the end part of the song, uh, the narrative part is a little, a little out there. I have to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like it. I like it a little weird like that. Hey, yeah, <laughs> you know, it's just another Saturday night somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Right. And before that, we had a tune that you had uh, um, one one fifth, I guess, of the uh, uh, process in putting it together. You had, uh, you know, this. Uh, band that you named the Satellite Bells, which was uh, you and Henning Olenbush and Lisa Bezo and uh, J. Joe O'Connell. And uh, basically, tell us how you put a song like this together. How did it work? All the songs were different, but but I think it started because COVID started and we were stuck and Lisa sent me a note about something and I and I just I just threw back like how long before somebody does one of those um, novels in the round where you sit where you sit in a you know circle and somebody says I left and the next person says my car in the parking lot and the next person blah 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 and you just keep going around and and you, and you have developed a story and I said how, how how soon before someone does that with a song and she just went like wait can that happen and I said sure why not. I, I don't know. And so I sent them a drum loop, you know, basically a minute. The first one was uh, whatever the first song is, like a minute 20 or 210 or something like this short. And she played four chords and sent it back. And I played the next bit. And then it went, Henning did the bass. And then, then I saw JJ, I forget how JJ got involved, but he was trying to learn how to record because he, he usually just played out loud and it was sort of, he needed to record anyway. He put drums on it, but I think the one we just listened to was one of the ones that JJ actually sat and played for, you know, three minutes or something. I think I'm not sure. And then I know there's two or three songs on there that were developed this way. So here we get this drum thing where you can clearly hear there are sections, but you don't know what they are. And then someone plays four bars of guitar. Someone plays four more, and then you double it, and you do whatever you think of next. And they were sending them all to my house, and I was compiling them on in my Logic Studio. So that's this one, and I know I didn't start that one because I'm singing it. So and did so- you did you mix? So did you mix that together? I mixed all these, yeah, ah, and mastered yeah. them, and then that's how we put that together. So it was one thing at a time, and then we would just. Uh, I made the rule that we had to write lyrics the way Ira Gershwin said it was done, which is to say (laughs) when he got a melody from George, every note had to have a new syllable on it. So you couldn't you couldn't take George's melody from the piano that went tink, 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 tink and and put I'm sick. 
You know, you couldn't you couldn't smear smear one syllable over his five notes. That uh -huh. okay. I love and, that. <laughs> and, and, yeah, <laughs> and so, uh, and then we did it line by line, and whoever didn't sing it, uh, so somebody would sing the gibberish. We called it the gibberish. Once we had all the all the uh, the guitars and the bass, most of it, not the add on stuff at the end, not the percussion, not the anything like. Somebody would do the gibberish. And so they would sing, you know, <laughs> da 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 ba da 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 da. I think JJ did the gibberish actually. Now that <laughs> now that I hear it, and and then and then we did the words, and then I sang the words, and then uh, I think JJ did the harmonies. We just kept uh, talking it over, and and we we did like I said the original book thing, line by line. Somebody wrote the "Don't Let Them Shade You Out," and they would send that. And the next person, and it had to be always the same. Once we started the order for the song, you know, Lisa, then Henning, then me, then JJ, we kept that order. Oh, oh, that's fascinating. <laughs> and, then, and then you'd have, so you had, it was me. I, I wanted rules. I just said, look, <laughs> and and, and uh, JJ was the big arranger. Sometimes he would want to go back and change things. And I was like, nope, that's the way we heard it. That's what we put. That's what we did. That's the way it is, you know. So, uh, and uh, and there's nine really pretty interesting different kinds of songs. So we we decided early uh, via Henning, I believe, that we would focus on shadows and and isolation because it was COVID. It was very early in the COVID. You know, mm -hmm. it was April, May. I mean, we did it for a year and a half, I think, or so. Yeah, it's incredible. That's such a cool lyrical approach and and musical too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's fun. Yeah, well, we started at Black Off with Susan at the Crossroads. That's a 2020 album by the Strip Mall Ballads. And that's um, Philip Saylor Weiser, who uh, is, um, I guess he's from the area, went to Hampshire College, and now he's uh, in the D.C. area. Oh, wow. This track just... I don't know. There's something about this track that just hits in a really beautiful way. Just something about the hook on the chorus is almost a little haunting. And yeah, it's that's beautiful. exactly my feeling. Haunting. Oh, <laughs> it's me shivers. Very fine old time banjo player and a real student. He went to Hampshire and studied old time banjo, really. And and mm. and he likes the mystery of of how, you know, a guy will will be on a porch singing a song that he learned when he was a kid or something. And no one knows where it came from. No one knows if he's singing. He's not singing it right or wrong. He's just singing it. And that's all you got is that thing. And and so you hear in that thing, it's like the drums are mysterious. Uh, everything's kind of mysterious, you know, but there, here's this uh, really great, you know, painting Van Gogh or something, you know, is what it is. It's everything smudged here or there, but yeah, great melody and, yeah. 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 Well, we've got uh, another block coming up with uh, two great tunes, and we're going to start out with Parking Lot Snow by the Bamboo Steamers. <laughs> <laughs> 